What defines the soul of a car in the electric age? Is it the raw, democratized power of technology, accessible to millions? A self-contained universe of innovation, from the battery chemistry to the final bolt, all controlled by one single entity? Or is it the century-old relentless pursuit of perfection? The deep-seated belief that a car is more than just a tool, it's an extension of the driver's will. The ultimate driving machine, reborn with electrons? This is the fundamental question at the heart of the global auto industry's greatest battle. And today, we are witnessing its two champions enter the ring. Hello everyone, welcome to Volt China. This is not just a car comparison. This is a clash of civilizations. On one side, BYD, the undisputed king of new energy, the vertically integrated dragon from the east. On the other, BMW, the legendary Bavarian stallion, the guardian of sheer driving pleasure. This is the story of how two giants, with two radically different philosophies, are fighting to define the future of the car. To understand this rivalry, you must first understand how they are built. BYD's strategy is a fortress. It is called Full Stack Vertical Integration. This is a term you need to know. It means BYD makes everything. They own the mines for raw materials. They design and manufacture their own batteries, their own motors, their own electronic controls, even their own semiconductors. This is an incredibly difficult and expensive path. It carries enormous financial risk. But the reward is absolute control over technology, quality, and most importantly, cost. It allows them to do things nobody else can, like launching a high-tech family sedan for under $12,000. BMW, on the other hand, leads an alliance. Their strategy is open collaboration plus in-house innovation. They focus on what they do best, chassis dynamics, driving feel, and overall system architecture. For the rest, they partner with the best in the world. They work with battery giants like CATL to develop next-generation cells. They collaborate with Qualcomm on autonomous driving chips. This approach is more flexible, less capital-intensive, and allows them to integrate cutting-edge tech from various suppliers. But it also means they are dependent on their partners. Their fate is not entirely in their own hands. Two philosophies. One, a self-reliant empire. The other, a powerful federation. And this fundamental difference echoes through every piece of their technology. Let's talk about the heart of any EV, the battery. BYD's choice is the LFP blade battery. LFP, or lithium iron phosphate, is known for being incredibly safe and durable. BYD took this chemistry and reinvented its structure, creating long, thin blades. This design passed the nail penetration test, the industry's ultimate torture test, without catching fire. For BYD, their battery philosophy is, safety is justice. They prioritize ultimate safety and affordability, and through brilliant engineering, have pushed the energy density of this safe chemistry to impressive levels, up to 180 watt-hours per kilogram in their high-end models. BMW, true to its performance heritage, has chosen the path of high-nickel NMC, nickel-manganese cobalt, chemistry, and is betting its future on the large cylindrical cell format. This is the path of maximum energy density. Their Neue Klasse platform will feature cells with densities reaching a staggering 260 watt-hours per kilogram. For BMW, the philosophy is Performance is king. They are chasing higher range and power to deliver the ultimate electric driving experience that their customers expect. They believe in managing safety through sophisticated battery management and multiple layers of protection, rather than compromising on energy density. This philosophical divide extends to charging. BMW's upcoming 800 volt platform promises a blistering 10 minute charge for 300 kilometers of range. BYD while still fast, focuses on the reliability and low cost of its current system. Two different answers to the same question. Now, for the car's AI mind. Here, the market strategies are polar opposites. 
BYD is pursuing a strategy of intelligent driving for all. In 2025, they made a shocking announcement. They will roll out Highway Navigate on Autopilot, or NOA, across their entire lineup, including cars that cost as little as 100,000 yuan, or about $14,000. They are using a mix of affordable hardware and powerful, data-driven software to bring high-level driver assistance to the mass market. Their ultimate weapon is data. With millions of cars on the road, they are building a massive corner case library, training their AI on real-world chaotic traffic scenarios that a test fleet could never encounter. Their goal is rapid iteration and widespread adoption. BMW's approach is progressive perfection. They are focused on delivering a flawless, legally approved, and deeply integrated experience, starting from the top down. Their personal pilot is a true level three eyes off system a significant step beyond level 2 assistance. They use expensive, high-precision sensors, like a $1,000 LiDAR unit, because they believe there is no substitute for quality and redundancy. For BMW, the philosophy is AI that empowers, not replaces, the driver. Their system is designed to enhance the driving pleasure, to handle the stress of traffic jams, giving the control back to a relaxed driver when the open road calls. It's a premium feature, for a premium price, with a premium experience. One seeks to make AI driving as common as a car radio. The other seeks to make it as refined as a Swiss watch. Finally, the space where we interact with the car's soul, the cockpit. BYD's dialing system, Open Ecosystem. It runs on an Android-based platform, allowing users to download a vast array of apps just like on their phone. It's customizable, versatile, and deeply integrated with local Chinese services. Their rotating screen is a clever piece of hardware that adapts to different content. It's built for ultimate practicality and endless possibilities. BMW's iDrive is a curated experience. It is a closed, meticulously designed ecosystem that prioritizes stability, security, and a consistent brand feel. Every function is designed to work in harmony with the driver-centric layout, but they are not an island. Recognizing the power of local ecosystems, they are deeply integrating with giants like Alibaba, Tencent, and Huawei in China, ensuring that while the experience is pure BMW, the services are perfectly localized. In fact, 70% of the code for their new operating system was written in China. So, who wins? The dragon or the stallion? The truth is, this isn't a battle with a single winner. It is a glimpse into the two parallel futures of the automotive world. BYD represents the future of accessible, vertically integrated technology. They are proving that cutting-edge electric platforms, intelligent driving, and advanced battery tech don't have to be luxury goods. Through relentless innovation and massive scale, they are rewriting the rules of what a car should cost and what it can do. They are turning the car from a product into a solution. BMW represents the future of the premium, brand-driven experience. They are proving that a century of engineering passion, a deep understanding of the human-machine connection, and an unwavering commitment to quality can be successfully translated into the electric age. They are not just selling transportation. They are selling sheer driving pleasure powered by a new kind of energy. This clash is not just about competition, it's also about fusion. BMW is learning from China's speed and localization. BYD is pushing into the premium segment. They are forcing each other to be better, faster, and smarter. And for us, the consumers, this is the best case scenario. A world where we can choose between two incredible, yet fundamentally different visions of our automotive future. The dragon has shown its power. The stallion has proven its endurance. The race has just begun. Now, I want to hear your voice in this epic debate. Which philosophy do you believe in? BYD's Technology for All or BMW's Ultimate Electric Driving Machine? Which company's vision for the future excites you more? And which car would you put in your own garage? Join this crucial conversation in the comments below. If this deep dive into the clash of automotive titans 
gave you a new perspective, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to Volt China, and hit that notification bell. The future is being written as we speak. Thank you for watching. By the way, if you have a specific burning question you'd like me to answer, head over to the community tab on my channel page, find the Volt China Data Desk post, and leave your question in the comments. I personally select the best questions each week and answer them in detail. Looking forward to seeing you there.